Hey everyone, welcome to their top 10 list. Welcome uh, to my top 10 divisive games I don't enjoy. In my last video, I did top 10 the divisive games I enjoy. These are the ones I don't really enjoy. These are games, again, people love it or hate it. I'm not quite on the hate, but I'm on more of the hate than love. I don't really enjoy it. There's maybe aspects I enjoy, but... I'm not a huge fan of these games. So when it comes to the divisiveness, I'm more on the negative than the positive. The last video, I was more positive than negative. This one, I'm more negative than positive. So you got to deal with me. Here we go. Number 10, GTA 4, Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, the only Grand Theft, Auto, Grand Theft Auto game that's pretty divisive, because most of them are loved games. GTA 5 is loved. Vice City is loved. San Andreas is loved. Even the first couple are pretty loved games. GTA 4 is not that loved by some GTA fans. And I understand why. It's slow and boring. The main character is kind of eh and stuff. And I can be on the not enjoyed because I'm not a GTA fan in general. And I played this game and I did not enjoy it. <laughs> and I'm not even a GTA fan. So I can actually say I don't enjoy it. And I can be proud of it. <laughs> Number nine, Minecraft. Minecraft is a love game for some people. People love this. They like they live and breathe Minecraft. Then there's some people who just get really annoyed by people who love Minecraft. Uh, I I I'm not that. I just not I'm not I'm not a fan. I don't like the style of Minecraft. It's just not for me. To me, it's just a bit overrated. And there's a lot of people who, who do think that nowadays, that Minecraft's a bit overrated and stuff, and I'm on that side. I don't say, I, I'm not, I don't hate Minecraft. I haven't played enough Minecraft to say I hate it. I just, it's not for me. I'm not a huge builder kind of person. I play, like, City Skylines, which is kind of cool, but I'm not all about this, like, building architecture things and stuff. And even some of the block animation in Minecraft, just, I, I, I think it looks just kind of choppy and ugly. That's just me, though. Number eight, Final Fantasy XIII. I actually hate this game. But there's this fan base now for some stupid reason. I don't understand. I wouldn't have even put this game on it. I would have just put it on mostly hated. Because when it came out, it was hated by people. And I was one of them. I bought this fucking game when it came out. And I fucking hated it. I hated this game. This game sucked. <laughs> stupid game. But for some bizarre reason, in the past like year or two or something, maybe it's because the seven remake came out. I don't know. But thirteen is getting this like, like appreciation now. Like it's actually a gen it's actually a good game and stuff. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not a good game. I don't give a fuck. Like it's it's, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, Snow is boring. Hope is annoying. Vanille's the only interesting character, but she dies. Lightning's a shitty lead character. Sash is underutilized. Fang doesn't come to the last half. Like, no one is interesting. The gameplay sucks. The summons suck. The weapons suck. The story sucks. The visuals are okay, but then they're get, they get a little dated anyways. And just, it, it has nothing, has nothing to even compare to some of the other Final Fantasies. When you compare this game to like a 7 or a 10 or even a 9 and an 8... It's not even the same fucking league. Even 15 is a lot better. And, like, I I don't understand. I know this is fan base now. I don't understand it. Number seven, Death Stranding. Death Stranding, the walking simulator, could people call it. That's a little, that's a little much. Norman Reedus is very good in the game. The visuals are beautiful. The cameos are awesome. My God, this game is boring as fuck. <laughs> like... People love it. They think it's groundbreaking and amazing. And some people call it a walking simulator and a complete waste of time. I understand why people come from on the negative. I'm, not, I'm more on the negative than positive for this game. You know, it's beautiful and very well acted. The voice acting is fantastic and it's beautiful to look at. It's so boring, though. It's a boring game and it's difficult to even get through. So that's all I got to say. Number six, Batman Arkham Knight. Love the Arkham games. Arkham Arkham Origins is... Arkham City is amazing. Arkham Asylum is amazing. Sorry, I gotta fix that. Sorry, guys. Um, Arkham Knight has great things, but you spend so much time in that fucking Batmobile, and it's so fucking difficult to control that stupid thing. 
And some of the combat gets a little annoying, and some of the glitches are a little annoying. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, it's not a bad game, just I would never play it again. Number five, Diablo 3. Diablo 3 is... <laughs> It's Diablo 2, but shittier, and the gameplay isn't as great, the um, mythology isn't as cool, and it's just, everyone, I, 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 I know there's a fan base, and I know, like, a lot of people talk about Diablo 3, and honestly, there's a bajillion videos about how much Diablo 3 is very divisive, and people don't like it, so yeah. Number four, Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5 is just, why is this franchise still going? The first two Battlefields were awesome. And now they're just still going and going and going. And Battlefield 5 was just torturous. But again, people liked it. People really enjoyed Battlefield 5. And they thought it was cool. And the gameplay was cool. And the visuals were cool. But I didn't. I thought it was boring. The campaign sucked. The game, the, the, the online sucked. And everything else sucked. So yeah. Number three, The Last of Us Part 2. <laughs> this is the one I didn't want to talk about at all. But... I'm on the negative. Sorry, guys. There's great stuff. Beautiful stuff. Ellie's great. <laughs> How do I talk about this without getting hate? Abby's a shitty character. I hate what they do with the ending. Just, just not as good as the first Last of Us. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, number two. All Every single sports game. <laughs> uh, not, a, not a fan. Okay, uh, I like some golf games. Like, uh, Hot Shots Golf, Everybody's Golf, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, silly games like that, but in general, I don't like sports games. NHL, FIFA, NBA, Madden, all that stuff, tennis, all that shit, not a fan. And I know there's a huge fan base, because every fucking year, they come up with a new sports game for football, basketball, uh, hockey, and soccer, which is great, just MLB the show, like all that shit, which is great. Not my thing, though. No. Number one, Fortnite. Fork knife. <laughs> Not a fan. Online gameplay, some of it's great. Tournament style, some of it's cool. I like Fall Guys and shit like that, but. Games like Fortnite and like PUBG and stuff, but Fortnite is like this big, huge thing that just so many people are playing. I've had so many of my buddies even say, oh, you gotta play Fortnite, man. This, this is the game, man. They put all this new shit in it, man. Fortnite sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. To me, it sucks. Anyway. So yeah, those are my top 10 divisive games that I don't enjoy. So in the comments section below, please tell me what are some divisive games that you guys don't enjoy. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the dark side.